So for a while now I've been wanting to get like a shelf or what they call a cradle on my log splitter. So that way as I'm splitting up big rounds I can roll one over on there. It's held up nice and high and I don't have to go reach down to grab that. That log ox tool has been really great for that. The one thing is when I was starting to price out metal and uh, was planning on building one of these. It started adding up pretty quick. I've seen Tractor Supply have one. And then the other day we were wandering through um, Mills Fleet Farm and they had one there for $25. Well, my wife and daughter ended up going back and getting that. Um, and it ended up being a little Christmas present here. So it says it fits a variety of splitters. I'm not quite sure if this will fit directly onto mine since it's made by another manufacturer, but I guess we'll find out here. Looks like those holes are a little too small, so we're gonna have to make them a little bit bigger. We're gonna use a half inch drill bit. Looks like they got nylon lock nuts on here, so that'll be nice. So I have to admit, I'm really impressed with this thing, especially coming in at the price point, about half the price I've seen a lot of other stuff. Build quality seems really good. Um, I, the little minor modification I made, I made those holes just ever so slightly larger. So if I did ever go back and actually add a Speedco branded one, I don't think there should be any issue at all because those holes were opened up just so minor. Um, dealing with like the variety of woods that we have in our area, a lot of eastern hardwoods, on average 16, 18 inches across. It felt a little snug in there. I do wish that thing was just a little bit bigger, but it worked just fine for what I, I deal with on the, on average. However, if I got into some bigger stuff, I wonder if I'd run into a problem with it not quite being big enough. But today, at least, run the round, rounds through there, I didn't have to bend over and pick up a single piece. Pretty nice little addition to the splitter for a relatively cheap price. 
Hope this can help someone out if you're taking a look at this and in the market for a nice budget one. This one's definitely worth a look. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.